So based off of when we kind of started the the show, there was a cause that you mentioned that you are very much connected to. Um, And I'm going to say that you stand up for what you believe. And it has to do with diabetes. So I'm going to go ahead and and start there because it's leading me in that, like I said, in that direction to have that conversation. Yep. What is your story with diabetes? Well, I have had type 1 diabetes since 1981. So I've had it for about 43 years. It's a long time to have it. Over those years, I've, I've obviously learned how to deal with it. But I've also gotten to talk to a lot of other diabetics and realize well, that there's a lot of misunderstanding no matter what color you are or whatever political leaning you, you have. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we're all in the same boat. So it's important <laughs> for people to understand. Well, uh-huh. Same boat, yes. But, uh-huh. but it's important for people to understand what's really going on because one common thread is that people feel guilty about having diabetes uh, and many people you know judge them because they believe that the diabetic brought it on themselves well it's interesting because you said you talked about the the same boat um which there's this this boat but here um mm-hmm. also this whole this black cloud um they are leaving something that was a challenging situation here's what it says on your brain it says the end mm-hmm. of challenging times Things are looking up, a welcome relief, finding your way to a peaceful place, the end of depression or an illness. So it's like basically what you're talking about is like you're going out there sharing the the information. Um, And one of the things about justice is that justice also means that people have access to information opportunities that it's pretty much equal on the board and what i'm hearing is is that that may not always be the case when it comes to like the information that you're saying about the diabetes and the um, misperceptions of that which then the next card they came out here was the oil about cleansing of how do we basically kind of clear the air about these misconceptions about what diabetes and here it says the theme is purification trigger statement says their opinion matters to me and basically it's kind of like falls in line with what you were saying about how you can have but we don't talk about it because people are putting this higher opinion of what people are going to judge them about having this disease um in their life and what that means and like i said it's all about cleansing that the true statement says i see things in a new way as you release external influences and energy you will become clear with regard to what is needed so in a concise sentence how would you like to clear the air about what people think about diabetes what i've done is a lot of research on diabetes i've written a couple of books about it Uh, And they're out there, they're on Amazon. But over the past year, I put together some videos and the videos in a very short amount of time teach you the basics that people really do need to know. Mm -hmm. They're really packed with a lot of information, even though they're short, they're less than a half hour long. My hope is that people will show these videos in groups. Like churches would be an ideal way to go. You know, I've I've, uh, I've been to to, uh, Black churches, mm-hmm. and I love it. By the way, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm smiling because the card that already came out here is one zero one, and it talks about literally spiritual awakening, new yeah. beginnings. It yeah. says new beginnings, personal development, prioritizing creativity, and heal, heading in the right yeah. direction. Heading in the right direction. Yeah. 